I've been reading about the biggest medical breakthroughs in history and um, for a separate video, and I'm sure you can guess some of them, anesthetic, vaccines, antibiotics, x-rays, all the big ones. But there's one that's so simple and cheap and straightforward, I think it flies under the radar. So I wanted to tell you about it and also talk about one of the people involved in particular. And it's something The Lancet estimates has saved 54 million lives, many of those children just in the last few decades. And it's oral rehydration solution or therapy. It's a simple drink made of water, salts, and sugar, and it's used to treat diarrheal illness, which continues to be the number three killer of young children worldwide, although death rates have plummeted in recent decades because of interventions like oral rehydration therapy. And diarrhea kills because pathogens like cholera, shigella, campylobacter, those are um, bacteria, but also viruses like adenovirus and norovirus cause the body to try to expel the pathogen. So that makes you vomit and gives you profuse diarrhea to try and rid the body of the bug. But of course, you lose enormous amounts of fluid and electrolytes in the process. A doctor called uh, Dilip Moholonovich was born in 1934 in what is today Bangladesh. He qualified as a pediatrician from Calcutta, came to work briefly in the fairly new National Health Service in the UK, and then returned to India, uh, where coincidentally he worked with my dad in Calcutta. And in 1971, the Bangladesh Liberation War began. This was where Bangladesh won its independence with the help of India from Pakistan. And uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people died. And this was not long after the deadly, devastating 1970 polar cyclone, which is the most deadly tropical cyclone ever recorded so Bangladesh uh, was facing huge problems at this time. 10 million people are estimated to have fled across the border into India as refugees. So there were overcrowded refugee camps, monsoon rains, and uh, this was perfect conditions for cholera to spread, killing indiscriminately. Mahalanovish was um, brought in to work at one of the refugee camps, and I think there would have been 5,000 deaths from, from diarrheal illness. And it seems strange to think about oral rehydration therapy as some really specialist thing but when it's such a simple recipe. But in those days, it was an unproven, un, um, unpopular kind of niche uh, therapy. The chosen uh, therapy for diarrheal illness was intravenous saline. Mahalanovich had two people in his entire team who were trained to put in intravenous lines, drips. And he would later say that also it exposed them to a lot of risk because you'd often have to kneel down in the patient's vomit and and uh, diarrhea to place the line. So he realized this wasn't going to work for, for so many people. And he had the idea, the first time this was done, to distribute oral rehydration therapy en masse to, to treat uh, cholera. And he made it up in huge vats, like drums, that people could help themselves. You know, it, 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 it was no longer a specialist thing. It was something available to everyone. And cholera death rate in the other camps at the time was 30%. And in the camp where he used oral rehydration therapy, it fell to 3.6%. When you're like me, you know, you, in the, here in the West, in modern times, we get excited about a 2% mortality reduction in a, over a year in a medical trial. So something like this is just mind-blowing. Moholonovich had trouble publishing his findings. Multiple journals rejected his, um, his write-up. But eventually, seven years later, the world did adopt uh, oral rehydration therapy um, and uh, over the subsequent decades, it has saved millions of lives. Mahalanovich himself went on to work in Yemen, Afghanistan, and Egypt, and he was awarded in 2002, sharing the, uh, the uh, prize um, with three of the Americans, uh, American doctors involved in uh, developing oral rehydration therapy. He got the Pollen Prize, which is an international prize in pediatrics. He was also recognized by Thailand with a uh, an honor, but sadly, his own country of India only posthumously um, awarded him the second highest civilian honor, um, which is a real shame. He died in 2022. The death rate from uh, diarrheal illness in Bangladesh in 1990 compared to 2019 has dropped 97%. And that's also thanks in part to another key medical milestone, which I'll talk about in that other video. So stay tuned. I find stories like this. Uh, really quite emotional. You know, in a typical day, I might treat 20 patients, and hopefully I've made a positive impact in those lives. But the health workers that visit villages um, 
and uh, war zones and refugee camps, distributing simple solutions like malaria, nets, um, antibiotics, vaccines, and of course, oral rehydration therapy. Um, or, you know, the medics battling against insurmountable odds in places like Gaza, where they're facing a huge lack of resources. It reminds you that often the simplest and cheapest solutions are the ones that have the biggest impact for all the obsessions we have with modern, cutting edge technology. Um, it's, it's these really simple things that can make a huge difference. You know, public health workers can save more people in a week than I could do in my whole lifetime. And, you know, we never even know their names. So I hope now we all know the name of uh, Dr. Dilip Mahalanabis, or in the proper Bengali pronunciation, Mahalanabish.